If you are a 3D artist like myself, chances are you spend the majority of your time inside on the computer, working on and on for hours upon hours upon hours. So, I have a challenge for you. Wherever you are watching this video right now, I want you to step outside and tell me what you see. Because the majority of the time when I see 3D artists try to model some type of outdoor scene, they immediately think to add in a road texture and some building models, some street lamps, etc, etc. However, if you actually take a step outside, you're going to quickly realize that, that is not the case. See, there's one thing that so many artists forget to include inside of their renders, and that, my friends, is nature. Just look around. There's grass, trees, plants, it's everywhere. And for some reason, nobody includes it inside of their renders. So, in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest, and most effective way to add 3D nature assets into your scenes. So please, if any of this sounds useful to you, continue watching. Okay, so at this point in the video, you're probably thinking, okay, great, I should add trees and grass and plants or whatever nature assets into my 3D scenes. However, how do you do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the add-on for Blender called Botanique. See, if you want to do any type of nature scene, you're essentially limited to three different options. The first of these is just to create them yourself. The problem I see with this method is it can take like hours upon hours upon hours of work just for one single asset. And you also have to consider the fact that if you don't have a degree in like gardening or whatever, they're often not going to turn out looking that great. So the second option is just go on to Sketchfab and try to find a model to buy for yourself. And while this can speed up your workflow, you still have a whole new set of problems. First of all, for just one single tree asset or whatever, it can total to like a hundred plus dollars. And once you download it, what you see is what you get. You can't change it or adjust it at all. Meaning you don't have that much flexibility when it comes to actually implementing this into a 3D scene. So that leads us to the third option, downloading Botanique. And check this out. With the click of a single button, you can spawn any of the hundreds, if not thousands, of fully customizable 3D assets. Now, here's where it gets crazy. Of course you could use Botanique, but why not any of the other thousands of other Blender add-ons and stuff? Well, Botanique actually has a few tricks up its sleeve. The first of those being the fact that they have so many just crazy, insane, high-quality 3D models ready to go. You can literally think of anything, and I guarantee it'll be there. However, the cool thing about this is, any time you add in one of these into your scene, you can randomize the entire geometry, change the brightness of any of the leaves or branches or whatever, and what I think is really cool is they've got this change season adjustment option, where you can use the slider to determine if you want it in summer or winter, fall, whatever you want, and it will automatically change all the materials and settings to adapt to that certain time of year. So obviously, I'm not going to tell you that this isn't cool, because it is, but there are two things that I think really blow my mind. So a problem I see a lot of 3 yard students is when they try to add in a tree into their scene, it looks something like this. However, if you step outside, you're going to notice trees look something more like this. Do you spot the difference? Well, what I'm trying to show here is that in real life, wind kind of blows around trees and moves them in all sorts of different directions. And typically, if you're going to do this in 3D, you have to do a bunch of complex simulations and all that. However, Botanique makes it a click of a button and it automatically can animate any of these assets to blow in the wind, adjust to whatever type of settings you've got, and it is truly crazy. So the final option, which I think is really cool, is we've got a ton of these new scatter options. Obviously, you can create some really cool forest scenes with this. However, if you click this plus button, you're going to notice a whole new panel pops up. And from this, you can choose all sorts of types of grass, flowers, lily pads, etc. to scatter onto whatever object you have selected. And with this little squiggly option here, you can automatically draw on and create all sorts of types of vines and variants for that as well. Anyways, I've tried to cover most of my favorite options here in the add-on. If you want to check it out, I have an affiliate link in the description. And if you click on that, whatever you spend on whatever tier you want for the Botanique add-on, I get a small percentage of that money. So if you want to help yourself out to create some really cool renders, help out the amazing people over at Polygonique, the creators of the add-on, and support your favorite Blender tutorial YouTube channel, then this is an amazing opportunity. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.